Okay, so I want to show you the easiest and strongest bustle loop um, that you can make. This is super fast, super easy for a traditional um, American over bustle. People call it different things. A lot of times you'll see it called an American bustle or a traditional bustle. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to take upholstery thread and a nice strong um, needle. You're going to pull that through. Um, you're going to make this about a half an inch wide. Okay. Pull it through almost all the way. And then I'm going to kind of lock that. I hope you could see what I did there. Kind of pull it through that. That way this knot doesn't get pulled through the fabric, okay? I'm using black felt here so you can see um, exactly what I'm doing, but this would be done for um, a wedding gown, a prom dress, that kind of thing. Okay, so obviously I'm using um, doubled thread. I doubled it. Um, and I did two loops, and now I'm going to start looping my needle through these loops and start just wrap those two loops together. Okay, you only have to do that probably four times and then go back in the other end there and be pulling that through. Okay, so you're going to flip this over and now you're going to knot this like three times. Okay. Don't mess around and just knot it one time or it's going to come undone. It's to make it really hold. It needs to be knotted at least three times. Okay, I'm going to tuck the tail. Snip that. Alright, so to make this super strong, I'm going to take some cement. Some nice, clear, strong cement. And I'm going to touch that onto the knots. That's going to keep them from coming unknotted. This is upholstery thread. It's super strong, but it loves to be straight. Um, so it can kind of unknot itself sometimes. That would be terrible. All right, so now I'm going to put the hook on. You want the hooky part of the hook to be pointing toward the loop. Okay, I've got my knot. Um, if you want to learn to knot your threads the way that I do, I have a separate video on how to tie a knot. And it's going to give you this nice, strong, um, doubled up thread. I'm going back behind that knot again to lock that. But follow that video on how to knot your thread. It's super handy. All right, so I went through twice uh, for this loop, for this hook. I'm sorry. Ah, it's not going down without a fight. All right, and then I'm going to also catch it around the top of that hook. Okay, then I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to do it again. Do it again a couple times. So if you're using upholstery thread and you're sewing it good and secure, that's just a total of five stitches there. Okay. So I'm going to knot this the same way. We need to do this probably three times. Okay. Tuck the tail in there just a little bit. We're going to cement this as well. Lots of stinky clear cement going on here. Makes it nice and strong. Okay. So, obviously I did this on black so you can see it. And your bustle hook and loop is not going to be this close together. This is just for demo purposes only. But it hooks like this. Okay. So now I'm going to show you um, how it hooks on a gown. How it looks on a gown. All right, there you go. Um, to give them some extra security, they can actually squeeze that hook shut so that it doesn't hop out. 
So there you have it. Super strong hook and loop bustle. Very, very simple.